Hello guys, welcome back. I'm. My name is Said. It is. I come with a new chapter of tutorial because this tutorial is ongoing. Pro, ongoing tutorials. Uh, today we will discuss about chapter seven, network attack and deeper locks. As you remember, the last time or the previous chapter was chapter uh, six. It is all about the principles of network security. Today we will discuss about general network attacks. And uh, deeper looks. How can look this network attacks? This issue in detail we will discuss. Uh, so uh, under chapter seven, so we see about network monitoring and tools. Explain the network traffic monitoring attack. The foundation attack with uh, what we do. Explain how TCP IP vulnerability enable network attacks. Explain how IP vulnerability enable network attacks. Explain how TCP and UDP vulnerability enable network attacks. Explain the importance of network monitoring. Those and another uh, issues we'll discuss in this chapter. Tura, ne network monitoring tools. We will see network monitoring tools. Okay, network monitoring methods tools used to help discover normal network behavior, including IDS or uh, Intrusion detection system, packet analyzer, simple network management protocol, net flow, and others. The traffic information capture methods maybe it can be in, can be done into two networking. For example, network tabs, network test, access points. Okay, network tabs. Let us see the network tabs. Network tab typically passive splitting device implementing a line between device of interest in network a tap for war or traffic including physical layer errors to an analysis device tabs are also typically fail safe which means it fails or loss power traffic between the firewall and internal router is not affected so that the network attacks also one of the uh, of tabs okay traffic mirroring is spam spam Port mirroring enables the switch to copy frames of one or more ports to switch port analyzers. Spawn port connector to analysis devices. In future, in the switch, we forward ingress traffic of F1 and ingress traffic of F22. The destination is spawn port 0 slash 1 connecting to IDS. The switch between source port and destination port is called spawn session. In single session, one multiple port can be monitored. Okay, traffic mirroring is fun. Uh, Allows this enabling the switch to copy frames one or more port to switch port analyzer. So that we are discussing about a network monitoring tools. Okay, network security monitoring tools. Monitoring tools among monitoring tools. Let us see uh, four protocol protocol analyzer. Are are programs used to capture traffic? Example, Wireshark and CTP dumps can be more security monitoring tools. NetFlow provide a complete audit real basics on information about every IP flow forward on device. Simple security information event management system can be a security monitoring tools. Provide real time reporting and long term analysis of security events. Okay. Simple network management protocol provides the ability to request and passively collect information across all network devices. Log file, it is also common for security analysts to access system log file to read and analyze system events. Okay, attacking the foundation. We will see attacking the foundation. Okay, IP version 4 and IP version 6. It is important for security analysts to understand the difference field in both IP version 6 and IP version 4 headers because they are related into security related. IP version 4 packet headers. There are 10 fields in IP version 4 packet headers. It has a version internal header language, differential service or different service list, total language, identification, flag, fragment, offset, time to live, protocol, header checksum, source IP version 4 address, destination IP 
hyperversion for arrays optional in padding those are a 10 field list that found in hyperversion uh, form so that as you see on this board this there are header versions okay hyperversion 6 packet header there are eight fields in hyperversion 6 packet headers version traffic classes flow levels payload lengths next series hop limit source IP version 6 addresses so that there are the fields available on those IP addresses okay IP vulnerability and traitors IP vulnerability always there are IP vulnerability for example it can be as you own these borders denial of service may be ICMP attacks session hijacking MID attacking so that those indalizers can be IP vulnerability attacks for example let us see the first one ICMP attacks ICMP was developed to carry diagnosis messages to report error condition when routes hosts and parties are unavailable as messages are generated by device when network error or outage occurs common as a message of interest to trade actors including icm echo request and echo reply icmp unreachable icmp mask reply icmp redirect icmp router discovery those are common icmp message of interest to trade actors so that uh, we will discuss about more ICMAP attacks, ICMAP attack or ICMAP messages. We will see in the next parts we will discuss in details for today. This is a highlight. Okay. The second one, denial of service, one of the IP vulnerability attacks. The goal of denial of service attack is to prevent legitimate users from gaining access to website, email, online account, other services. There are two major sorts of denial of service attacks. The first one, maliciously formatted packages. The second one, overwhelming quantity of traffic. For example, maliciously formatted packages, the threat actors craft the malicious formatted packet and forward its suspected hosts causing those to crash become complex, extremely slow. The second one, overwhelming traffic is also neural networks okay the next one amplification in reflection attacks three actors often use amplification reflection techniques to create denial of service attacks example in figure illustrated how to amplification reflection techniques called some small attacks is due to overwhelm the target hosts amplification the three actors forward as mp echo request message that contains a society address of victim to large number of hosts Second one, reflection. This is, those hosts will be replied to the spoofed IP address of the victim to overturn it. As you on this diagram, it explain about the victim or the source IP addresses. Here, as you see on this diagram, okay, distributed denial of service or D D denial of service attacks. This distributed denial of service attacks large in magnitude then than denial of service attack because it originates from multiple coordinator source denial of service attack introduces new terms such as botnet handler system and zombie computers this original self attack can be proceed as follows the first one the threat actors or both masters build a purchase is of botnet or zombie host the command and the controls okay address spoofing attacks I bear a spoofing attack occur when the three actors create a packet with false source IP address information to other hides the identity of sender or post uh, post another legitimate user. The attackers can then gain access to otherwise inaccessible data or advanced security communications. This is called a address spoofing attacks. TCP transfer control protocol transmission control protocol this is, this is reliable and connection oriented protocols that found in layer uh, transport layer tcp segment information appears in transport layer attacks also the tcp pro protocol is condition oriented in the driver protocol there is still vulnerability that can be exposed in tcp attack target expect protocol behavior tcp synchronized fluid attacks tcp reset attacks TCP session hijacking attack. Those three attacks can be done on TCP called TCP attacks or transmission control protocol attacks.
that is happen on transport wire vdp and udp attacks udp also another connection less and unreliable transport layer protocols it is simple protocol that provide basic transport wire function udp commonly used to by dns tftp and fcb simple network monitoring protocol it is also used to with real time applications such as media streaming or voice over udp is connection based transport wire protocol by udp not by encryption the lack of encryption allow anyone to look at traffic check it in same destination the protocol are target target lack of protocol behaviors UDP checks up, for example. Attacking the what we do. We are attacking what we do. ARP vulnerability host brought ORP request to another host on their segment to determine the MAC address of host with particular IP addresses. Or the host on the subnet receives the process of ARP request. The host will machine IP address in ARP request, saying this ARP reply. In this case, the RDP has it is vulnerability to be attacked or exploited data from remote hackers. The RDP catch positioning. RDP catch positioning attackers deliberately del deliberately pose the catch of another computer with exploited IP address to MAC address mappings. So that these attacks happen by mapping IP address spoofing with the RDP catch. Then this attacks. Domain name system services resolve many names to IP address and the more major target of attacker. Some DNS exploits are DNS software resolves, DNS seals attacks, DNS shadowing attacks, DNS tunneling attacks. For example, the first one public names resolvers, second one DNS shadowing attacks, hijacking domain is due to create subdomains to be attacked during networks. DHCP dynamic host communication protocol attacks could result in every host on the network communication with malicious DNA servers and gateways. DHCP spoofing attack creators route rogue DHCP servers to be attacked. Okay, HCP and HTTP browser the web browsing the web is possibly a large vector of attacks. Security analysis should have in-depth knowledge of how web attacks work. Malicious iframes. Iframes allow a page from different domain to be opened in line with current pages. The iframe can be used to launch malicious code. HTTP surrender to Ash can be page to redirect open in different array can be used to direct to malicious code. Those are HTTP HTTP attacks. Email. Email messages are accessed from many different devices that are often not protected by company's firewall. Attachment based attacks, emails with malicious exclusive file attacks, email spoofing, phishing attack, where the message appears to come from legitimate sources. Third one, spam mails. Unsolicited email with advertisement for the malicious content. Open email reply servers. Massive amount of spam worms can be sent by mail. Misconfigured email servers, homogenized phishing schemas where text characters hyperlinks look similar to read text in the links. Those are the email attacks. We have exposed database. Web application commonly connect to relational database because relational database often contain sensitive data. Databases are a frequent target for attacks. Common injection attacks. In SQL code, web application allow operating system command to be injected into form field or address bars. XSS, cross site scripting attacks. In SQL server side scripting, where input not validated, allow scripting commands so that Thank you for much for today. This is chapter 7. I will come with a chapter 8 with the new topics. Thank you very much. If you are new for my channel, please subscribe, like, and put your comments. I will respond for you. Thank you very much for watching with me. Bye.